Okay, let's get this thing done. Starting off where we left off. Well, one of the things we was doing, we was we had put topsoil on this silver dollar and the coin dealers and the collectors standards say I'm not supposed to clean off the dirt that I put on it two days ago. I don't care. I'm taking this paintbrush. Put it on this book. Oh crap. I think I'm going to have to put some water on it. I'm going to have to use some water. I might have to even go to distilled water. Because it sucks up minerals. Anyway, back to the book. We are reviewing the book, uh, the Comprehensive Catalog uh, Encyclopedia of Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars. We're interested in cleaning the coin has a whole section on cleaning. I'm not going to read it, but I am going to, I am going to read something. Okay. Because I want people to know what this is. This section is called toning. And I don't have my glasses. The desirability of tone from above trying to read without your glasses on is kind of like a train wreck toning the desirability of tone coins and the effect of toning on the grading of a coin is controversial subject as controversial subject many collectors and dealers find tone coins particularly in the uncirculated grades, an enhancement to the coin's appearance. The blue, green, and brown tones can add a very art artistic effect to the silver coins. Tone is, is, toning is suggestive of age and the coins link with the dim past, especially the older Morgan dollars. Chapter 2. On the other hand, severe toning can hide some of the coin detail and blemishes, making it more difficult to grade. This can be produced slowly over the years through exposure of the natural air impurities or rapidly through the exposure to the high sulfur high sulfur content in the paper envelopes or special dips special dips that have sulfur in them severe toning can also result in the formation of carbon spots on the coin which results in pitted areas that are difficult to clean We got an Amazon warehouse now. Like two miles from here. Makes it difficult to clean and lower the grade. Dipping coins lowers the grade of a coin. The buyer should be aware of heavily toned coins. And and try to look through the toning to determine the true condition of the coin before purchasing then the next paragraph is polished coins whiz coins it goes on to talk about what whizzing is I think the important thing that we need to note here is that dipping coins in sulfuric acid 
is bad for them. And toning is oxidation. That means it's the sulfuric acid and the silver are meeting, combining into one substance, substance and sitting on the coin, sitting inside the scratches. So you can't see the scratches. So if the coin has toning on it, you don't know if the scratches are full of toning or if there's no scratches. So you can only assume that if it's got toning on it, at some point, probably, maybe at a minuscule point underneath that toning, there is silver and um, sulfuric acid mixed together inside the cracks, inside the scratches. So that, you know, that's, that's about all I had to say. Well, I could say that, why would people say, keep on doing this, don't, don't pay any attention? You know, they start grading coins and they start cleaning coins with sulfuric acid, which it clearly says in the book, do not do, but they do it anyway, okay? I think if you look around, you'll find a lot of people that dipped a coin, sent it in, got it graded, and a year later, it had toning on it. Why did it have toning on it? Because they didn't do the baking soda that it says in the book to neutralize, and they didn't brush it with a natural brush. Water, brush, baking soda, to neutralize the sulfuric acid that is going to show up in that, on that coin as toning in about a year or so. When it's in a, in a plastic folder that says professional grade, professional corn grading service on the top of it, they graded it as perfect and then a year later, what shows up they didn't see? Sulfuric acid damage. And it's in their container, it says it's a perfect coin. At that point, they have no choice but to say, hey, look, using sulfuric acid and having tone on, toning on your coin is okay. It's stupid to me. I think they're stupid. I think they should follow the directions in the book, but they can't because they've already ruined the aspect of a pure coin. A pure silver coin with no sulfur on the outside of it. That's what the color toning is. It's sulfur mixed with silver. That's what you're looking at. You're saying, oh, Boy, isn't that some really good sulfur silver? Are you kidding me? Get out of here.